Butter chicken is one of the classic curry recipes. It's one of my favourites and a go-to whenever I'm cooking Indian food. But it's got chicken in it, it's got butter in it, and it's got cream in it, so it's not vegan or vegetarian friendly. With that in mind today, I'm gonna show you my no butter, no chicken recipe. The star of it is the Patax butter chicken paste, which is actually vegan, so it fits the bill with what we're making. And it's got all the spices and the aromats in the paste already, so you don't have to worry about making your own, which is perfect. Pan on, extra virgin olive oil into your pan. And then to our hot oil, we'll go in with one diced onion. And we're also gonna add into that our butter chicken paste. I like to make a little spot in the pan for it. We're going to add in a couple of tablespoons of our paste. What I love about the Patax paste is as soon as you hit that hot pan, you get a big waft of flavour. It hits you in your face and you get those beautiful aromats. So you know that that's going to turn into a really delicious curry. Now we're just going to fry up our curry paste at this stage to start developing those flavours. I like to fry up the curry paste for a couple of minutes until it splits and always becomes grainy with those onions. Once that paste has split out, you can add in your coconut cream. So instead of using dairy cream, we're adding coconut cream to keep this vegan. But it also gives the dish a really nice sweetness, which I think works really well with that butter chicken paste. I'm going to add two cans of cream in. You see this one's nice and thick and fatty and rich. Now we just need to cook our coconut cream down until it melts into our sauce to make a nice gravy. Now we're just going to boil our gravy and then turn it down to a simmer. Time to prep our cauliflower. So I've got half a cauli here. Just going to cut the leaves off. We're not going to throw these out. We're going to add these to our curry. So the little ones you can just leave whole like that, and the bigger ones just cut into a few pieces. Cauliflower leaves are super sweet, so they're going to add it a lovely extra bit of flavour and texture to our dish. And then all we're going to do, just cut our florets off of our stalk. And then we'll just cut our florets into pieces about that big. We'll call them large bite-sized pieces. You want to have a little bit of texture in your cauliflower, so you don't want to go too small, because otherwise it'll just turn into mush. And then once you've got a boil going on in your pan, you can start adding your cauliflower straight in once you've chopped it. This recipe would work with whatever your favourite vegetables are. I like firmer vegetables so you get a nice texture when cooking a curry. Things like potato goes really well, sweet potato would be perfect, pumpkin, broccoli, really whatever your favourite firmer vegetable is can go into this curry. Give this a little stir. And then I've got some firm tofu here. I love the texture you get when you slowly cook firm tofu in a sauce. It's almost meaty. So we'll just add that in at this stage as well. And just fold it through our gravy. Chuck our collie leaves in and just poke them in so they nestled into that sauce. Now, I'm going to simmer this for about 10 to 12 minutes until that cauliflower has softened but still has a nice little bit of bite to the stalk. Our no butter, no chicken gravy has been cooking down and that cauliflower has softened. The tofu is warmed through, so it's ready to serve it up. 
all you want to do on a nice serving plate is spoon over your curry, the tofu, the cauliflower, and that beautiful gravy that's got so much flavour in it. You can really smell all the wonderful ingredients that Patak's add to that paste. And just finish off with a couple of last little pieces. And there you have that no butter, no chicken curry using the Patak's butter chicken paste. Finishing it off with some sprigs of coriander. And then for some crunch, I like to add just some toasted flaked almonds around the side as well. That is a vegan dish that certainly doesn't compromise on flavour thanks to the Patak's butter chicken paste.